Here we are, Bassmaster Classic 2015. The guys are out there fishing on Lake Harkwell. We're here at the Bassmaster Classic Expo. Um, great place to go. We're here in the high seas pool. And what we're going to talk about right now is this fluorocarbon line. Fluorocarbon line has become real popular lately. Um, there's a good reason for that. It doesn't stretch as much. It has monofilament. Um, it has more stretch in it than braid. So it kind of fills that, that, that gap in between the two of them. Um, it's extremely abrasion resistant. Um, when you when you fish it, thick cover versus monofilament, it's gonna it's gonna resist the, the, the nicks and scratches and things like that. Um, we have high seas has two different types of braid. They have what we call the Quattro 100% for a line, and it is it's kind of hard to see in the in the light that we've got, but it's it's a multicolored line. It goes from uh, like a red to a blue, and this is all pretty opaque colors, but red to a blue to a white, and back again. And um, it does a couple of good things that I like myself. Um, it seems like, and I, I can't prove this, but in my personal fishing experience, the Quattro tends to be more abrasion resistant than the 104 Carbons. I don't know why, but it just seems like that to me. I, I don't know if that's true. But I use this a lot for my clipping and for uh, uh, stuff that I'm, you know, in heavy cover, things like that. I use all the rest of my stuff that I do with uh, four carbons, I use for the 100%. And uh, you know, crankbaits, spinner baits. I, I use it for almost everything except for a top water where you need the line to float. Then you need to load your motor filaments or your uh, your components. Um, but the Quattro also, when I'm flipping, that multicolor line makes it a little easier for me to see as as you're flipping in and out. I mean, especially in low light conditions, you get you get 100 more carbon line, and it's pretty clear. And if it's gray, overcast day, that line is extremely hard to see. This multicolor line gives me some something to focus on a little bit. Look for that little tick, that little the line starting to move off, and that kind of thing. So you don't have to do it like completely on the feet. You know, one of the one of the big things that braid does is you can really see it, good, but you don't have that that stretch. And so that takes you to the floor. You know, the braid, of course, has its own reason and its own niches for, for going on. But fluorocarbon is uh, extremely useful. The high seas fluorocarbon, in my opinion, is, is is the best out there on the team. I don't change this line very often. Uh, this line, it, it, it's really funny. I mean, I'll put this line on and I'll use it until my spool starts getting a little bit low. I don't change it every day after a tournament day because I trust it. I've learned to trust it. When the spool starts getting low, or low enough that I'm making a long cast, and I'll go ahead and put a backer on so I'll have a knot in there, and I'll make a long cast and I start seeing that knot getting closer, that's when it's time for me to change it. I don't change it just because, you know, I used it today, it's time to get rid of it. This stuff, this stuff will not go back. It doesn't absorb water, it, you know, like all the filaments do. And so it's got, it, 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 it just, uh, it's got its niche, it's got its purposes, and this, in my opinion, is, is the best line on the So those are the two lines that I use, um, and I use both, each one of them for different purposes. Um, you can flip with 100% with fluorocarbon, it's fine, but I like that little coloring in there, because just like we flip gray in grass, because it really, they're not lying shy in grass, it doesn't matter. If you're flipping into a brush pile, that fish is going to either bite or he's not going to bite. He's not worried about it. He's not running up in the, that line to see what it is, because we're used to flipping 20, 25 pound line anyway. So I want something I can visually see, and that's where that quadrant really comes into play. Thank you.